Hey guys, Bill Wu here, and today we're going to go over the unboxing of the brand new Mountain Hardware Phantom Gore-Tex Negative 40 sleeping bag. I searched everywhere to find any videos or any images of the Mountain Hardware Phantom Gore-Tex Negative 40 sleeping bag. Couldn't find anything. This is Mountain Hardware's most expensive down-filled sleeping bag. It's supposed to be the best of the best. Um, you know, at a price point of $930, I would think they'd have more videos. So, they don't. I had to go buy one myself, and I'm going to do my unboxing today, and we're going to go over what I think about it, how big it is compared to the other sleeping bags, and if it's worth it or not. For the large bag, um, I bought it a couple days ago. They just delivered it. Haven't opened it at all. Uh, wanted to be the first to uh, share this with you. So, let's do this. This is straight from Mountain Hardware. All right. Ugh. Let's see what they got here. All right. So it comes in this huge, uh, I guess you're not supposed to keep it stuffed compact for a while. You want to leave it open so the down the feathers don't get compressed. Um, comes with a little Gore-Tex Infinium sign. Let's see how this opens here. I've been pretty excited. One of the best of the best. This is supposed to be the warmest bag on the market. I mean, there's other thousand dollar bags, but um, from what I've heard, this is the best. Um, and it's weird how there's no videos comparing it um, but a negative 40 is a, a warm bag you know it's to me it's gonna be an all-purpose bag if the bag is if it's too warm outside I'll just open it up and use it as a comforter um, it's really comfortable Wow just right off the bat this uh, material is pretty thick this bag feels really lofty All right, let's see how this is. This is uh, the Phantom negative 40, negative 40 F Fahrenheit and a negative 40 degrees Celsius. So I don't know how that's, how that works out because negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit and negative 40 degrees Celsius is different temperatures. All right, let's see. Phantom Gore-Tex, negative 40. Here's the compression bag that's attached. It has a ripstop fabric. If you look super closely, um, it's ripstop, which is pretty cool. I mean, for a $1,000 sleeping bag, better be ripstop. Um, it's 30 denier material so it feels crinkly it's not uh you know if it feels durable i don't feel like it'll snag at all let's open her up the zipper's pretty cool it has a plastic thing on it it's a i've never seen a zipper like this it has like a guard i'll show it to you here in a minute Let's see how the feet are. Oh, let's see, it's the same material. So if you're wearing boots on the interior, on the, you know, if you wear the boots to sleep, it's the same material all the way through. Cool colors. It does feel heavy. It's a heavy, it's a heavy bag. There's a lot of filling in here. It says uh, Phantom Gore-Tex Infinium. And what do the uh, tags say on here? It says $930. It's the long one. Uh, 
and max user length let's see stuff size weight it's four pounds and ten ounces actually oh, let me see uh, four pounds and ten ounces 850 fill goose down insulation uh, gore windstopper fabric is breathable highly water resistant windproof and ideal for severe conditions and what else does it say doesn't really have the comfort levels or temperatures on the bag anywhere kind of weird but this is negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit and negative 40 degrees Celsius so I, I guess that's what it means but let's lay this out next to some of my other bags I have now this feels so nice if I were to just lay in bed and just have this as a comforter really nice well the zipper seems work it works pretty good it doesn't get snagged and caught uh, on the on the itself so let's lay this wow this is super super lofty super lofty So I have a Rob, a Rab, Andy's 800, and this is a uh, 28 ounce goose filled down. Um, it's a negative 45 degrees Fahrenheit bag, um, and it's, I've been using this for the last eight years. I love the bag, but I just wanted something newer, and you know, wanted to try this out. I got a good deal on it. Regular price was 9.30. If you go to the employee store, you get about 40% off. It was roughly $545. So to me, that was a bargain. I, you know, for $1,000 for a sleeping bag, it's kind of steep. But for $500 for a $1,000 sleeping bag, that's a great deal for me. So uh, the employee stores, if you're in the military and you have access to a employee store, you know, jump on it. But you can see here, uh, you know, there's a, there's a pretty big difference in loft. You can see this... Uh, this opening here, you know, it's, it's it's well padded along the lip, all the way around. Looks like a set of fat lips here. It's pretty cool. It looks comfortable. So you can see how much loft that is, hopefully. And then let's put it next to a regular synthetic sleeping bag. <clears throat> Let's uh, move this out of the way. So this is a Mountain Hardware synthetic bag, the Bozeman, and that's a 20 degree Fahrenheit, negative seven degrees Celsius. So you can see the loft difference. I mean, this is like, I don't know, it looks like maybe there's five times the thickness <laughs> of this bag. This there's a huge difference in loft. Look at that. Actually, it looks like there's someone actually sleeping in this thing. So, definitely a nice lofty pillow. Uh, now I'm gonna try to get into it and see if I fit. That's gonna be very interesting. I am in the bag. Nice and comfortable. Lots of room for my shoulders. I'm uh, 5'9", 220 pounds. Pretty broad shoulders.
super nice. Ah, oh, so comfortable. All right. All right, so let's figure. Ah, oh, this is so nice. Nice and lofty. Nice and warm. I could just, uh, yeah, this is, I could just sleep right here on top of this pool table. It's so nice. And this zipper definitely has it engineered for this not to get snapped. When you sit inside, all this air starts to like puff up and all these, all this liner inside here wants to get caught in the zipper. But you know, once you're in it, ugh, let's see how well it zips up. That uh, still, still gets caught a little bit. I'm just gonna be careful. Super nice. Let's see here. Zipping it up. That's ah, really big. It's the zipper is not the easiest to use with such loft. You just stuff everything in and Make sure everything's lined up before you can actually zip it all up. So that's what you get for a uh, heavy, heavy waft. All right, let's look at this zipper here. See this plastic? It's plastic design. Okay, see how well this zips up. Oh, zips up pretty well. And then uh, when you try to pull it open, uh, it, does it get caught? Let me see here. Nope. So this is the uh, Phantom Gore-Tex logo. You see all these little squares. That's the ripstop. The ripstop is along the lip. Let me see here. What else is the ripstop on? All right, let's actually look closer into this ripstop. The ripstop is all along the exterior of the sleeping bag. You can see little squares in the fabric. It's on the front and it's on the back side, all the way through. And it's on the opening right here. You can see folds in but as you open it up the ripstop stops so the ripstop's kind of crinkly and then right about where your neck is it the fabric the ripstop stops if you can see ripstop and you can see non ripstop so the rest of the bag inside has no ripstop But it's really comfortable, really smooth. I feel it's well made. Um, let's see how easy this zipper is to open and close. At the end, it opens up a little bit more if you want more room. All right, let's see. Zipper's always, oh, whoa. So there's actually two zippers. There's the plastic zipper, the guard on it, and there's one regular zipper behind it. You can see that. So let's make sure both zippers are engaged before I zip this whole thing up. 
Okay, there it goes. Okay, let's see if it snags. Really, really lofty. Okay, no problems. No issues. A lot of... Ah, so that's going to be tough uh, packing, maybe. Let's see how it is packing. Okay, let's see. Open the zipper up again. Oh, there it goes. It snagged on itself. Oh, I thought it wasn't going to snag on itself, but it did. So you got to be careful opening these things up because they will snag. <laughs> okay. Cool. There it is. Look at the loft difference. This thing looks like a deflated balloon and that thing looks like a Goodyear blimp. So that is a huge difference. So there is a comparable bag next to it. And this is a, it's not a cheap bag, this is a $700 bag. But definitely there's a difference in loft. Look at that difference. So if you wanna push that down. Oh, push that down, definitely have more resistance. The air just kind of like goes down. This one, ugh. <laughs> it's definitely, I want to be lay laying on that thing. All right, let's attempt to stuff this bag into this stuff sack and compress it. I'm probably gonna have to fast forward this because it's probably gonna take me a while. Just getting all this air out, it's gonna be crazy. <clears throat> Oh, wow. <clears throat> I guess this trick is to squeeze the air out. Oh, all right. 
Hast du gesehen? <lacht> okay, so there's an easier way to do this. Please leave comments below. Almost there. Uh. Oh, geez. Seems it likes it wants to like come back out. Okay, come on, come on, baby, let's do it. Okay, whoo, that was a pain in the ass. Okay, so now, okay, so now that we have it like this, I guess there's a part two. You can compress it further. Let's see how that works. Okay. And that goes on top. Oops. Is this twisted? All right, here it goes. Okay, so now got the cap on. Let's start the compression. Let's do that side. Do this side. And do this side. Again. It's like torquing a uh, tire down, or a wheel down. Squeeze more of this air out. You know, that actually packs down pretty small. So, there you go. Definitely, it's heavy. I think it probably weighs, you know, yeah, five pounds at least. But, uh, packs down pretty compact if you want to stuff that into your backpack. But, uh, all right, now that's all compressed, let's see what it looks like coming back out. Okay. So, 
Let's do this. All right. There she is. All the air that was once in there was out. I don't know if it's the same as before. <laughs> but here you go. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. Hit the like button. Um, ask me what uh, other videos you want me to make or reviews. And uh, thanks for watching.